So this video is a sum up of the full Windows 10 video editor tutorial I created. The full tutorial is 19 minutes long, but it really goes into detail about each editing step. In this tutorial, I will show you all the editing tools that are available in Windows 10 video editor and briefly how to use them. For a detailed explanation, see the full tutorial in the description box and at the end of this video. All right, so when you want to access video editor in Windows 10, type here in your search area, video editor, or alternatively, you can also access video editor in the Photos app. You can see that it comes up fairly quickly. This opens the video editor that comes with Windows 10. Now select New Video Project and name your video project. I'm going to create a wedding video project. This brings us into the Windows 10 video editing interface. Now to start using video editor, the first step, of course, is to import or add clips and photos to our project library. We can do this by clicking on the blue link that says Add right here. I'm going to import photos and videos from my PC. To select multiple clips and photos simultaneously, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and select the files that you want to add to your project library. So I'm going to add a video to my storyboard first. I'm going to click on this one and select place in the storyboard. Or I can also drag it down, which is a bit faster. So the first thing I want to do is to cut out a part of the wedding gown scene in this clip. So first I need to make sure the clip is selected. The blue line underneath the clip lets me know it is selected. Then I'm going to click on split on the menu bar. And when I do that, it brings up a completely new window where I can do the cutting. So this is my magic wand and I can drag it to where I want to cut the first part of my clip, which is going to be right here. Once I click on done, it will divide my clip into two frames. The first frame is the part that I want to keep. The second frame is the part I need to continue cutting or editing. So I need to make sure it is selected by clicking on it. Then we need to click on split. And this time I'm going to move my magic wand all the way to the beginning of the shoe scene, right here. Then I'm going to click on done again. And once more, video editor has cut my clip into two frames. This middle frame is the wedding gown scene, which I want to delete. And this final frame is the shoe scene, which I want to keep. So to delete this wedding gown frame, I need to click on it to make sure it is selected and then hit delete on my keyboard. Or I can select the bin icon on the menu bar right here. If I want to add text to a clip or photo, I need to select text on the menu bar. So the first step is to write our text in here. Because this is a wedding video, I'm going to choose something that is a bit more classic, like the textile classic. For the layout, I'm going to choose title one, and I want to shorten the duration of the text to where my cursor is, right here, by dragging in this bit here. So I'm going to click on done. All right, so you can see now that the text has been added. Something else that we can do with our video is to speed it up or slow it down by clicking on speed on the menu bar. Another feature that we have on the menu bar is the remove or show black bars feature. 
So say for example that I want to remove the black bars on this picture. I can select this feature and it will zoom in on the picture to remove the black bars. If we want to add a title card or like an intro to our video project, we can select this feature on the menu bar as well. So say for example, I want to add it before my first video clip to introduce the video. I need to make sure that my first clip is selected by clicking on it, then select add title card from the menu bar. The first thing I want to do is to add text to my title card. So I'm going to click on the link text. So I'm going to add my text up here. I think simple will work well for the intro. And I will choose a custom color by clicking on the plus icon under the header custom color. As for the duration, two seconds will work better here. So I'm going to click on done because I am done. A very important element for any video is of course music. To add music to your video project, we have two options. The first option is to add recommended music given for free in video editor. So if we click on this option, we can choose between a variety of music tracks that best suit our project. And if you want to select any music track from this list, make sure it is selected and then click on done. Okay, so let's play that back. And if you want to add custom audio or narration to your video project, click on this link that says custom audio up here and then click on the link add the audio file. And then you can choose music or narration from your computer to add to your project. Then I'm going to add motion to all of my images by selecting each image individually and then choosing a motion effect for that image. So we need to click on finish video up here on the top right corner. Then choose the video quality. I recommend HD video quality. So I'm just going to save it in my videos. Okay, so let's play back what we have created. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you have, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.